Why does this sort of thing always happen to me? I've ruined another meal. I thought I followed the recipe perfectly this time. Hey, Felicia, what's the matter? Oh no, did you start another fire? That's the third time this month. Lord Corrin, no, not this time. This time I just ruined another meal. Felicia, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please cheer up. You're plenty helpful to everyone, I promise. Sorry, but I don't believe that at all. Well, what about that last battle, when you got the enemy's attention by screaming? And then, you not only got them to come after you, but you took them all out, too! I've never seen such a bold strategy, and such bravery! Felicia, what's wrong? Why are you curling up on the floor again? You really don't understand, do you? That wasn't a strategy, Corrin! I was just trying to run away from them. And then I got surrounded. I had to fight my way out or die. I wasn't being brave. I was terrified. Oh, really? Could have fooled me. I don't want to be a good warrior anyways. We have plenty of soldiers already. I want to be a good maid. I want to be able to mend clothes and make food and wash dishes. And like, have you seen camp lately? We need that more than we need extra muscle. Yeah, I guess so. I suppose you don't have to join us on the battlefield. But then I'd be completely worthless. No, don't say that. You could, uh, you could help with... Oh look, a faithless! I have to go! I'm going back to my corner. Ouch, this really stings. Hey Felicia, I saw a big pile of broken dishes. Did you? Oh wow, that's a big cut on your forehead. Are you alright? Here, let me take a look. Hmm. We should put some ointment on this. I'm so useless. I can't even carry a few stupid dishes around. I wish you could serve you like a proper maid, or at least stop breaking things. Then you wouldn't have to look after me all the time. Oh, come on, Felicia. We're practically family, and family helps each other out. Besides, it's the least I could do for someone who saved my life. You saved your life? Don't you remember? It was when I had that terrible fever years ago. I just kept getting sicker and sicker. Oh, yes. I do remember. It was around the same time Flora and I started serving as your maids, correct? But even then, I was a mess. I couldn't care for you properly at all. I had no idea what to do when you fell ill. Well, you didn't know the normal ways to treat an illness. It's true. But that didn't matter. You kept my fever down for days using your ice powers, drawing the heat out of me and into yourself. They said it was extremely dangerous. You could have died. It was the only thing I could think to do at the time. Did you even stop to consider what might have happened to you? I'm grateful, of course, but I don't want you sacrificing yourself for my sake, okay? I want you to look out for yourself, too. Lord Corrin, you don't understand. I was looking out for myself. What do you mean? <laughs> Forget I said anything. Felicia? Wait! You can do it, Felicia. Just put the pot back in the cabinet. Gently, gently. I'm not the same old Felicia I've always been. I am Super Felicia. I'm transforming into an elegant maid for like a caterpillar into a butterfly. No! Uh, I'm gonna slip! Huh? Why are you looking hurt? I could have sworn I slipped. Felicia, try to be more careful when you're on a ladder. Lord Corrin, you caught me. I'm just glad I arrived in time. Now, Felicia, you need to pay more attention to what you're doing. No wonder you get distracted all the time. Talking to yourself like that. Ah, you heard that? Having you catch you is bad enough. But hearing me talk to myself, I'm never gonna live this down. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. Let's get you back on the ground. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. So, you know, I might consider keeping this little incident to myself if you were to tell me something. Oh? And what's that? Remember how I was scolding you for always putting others before yourself? And you said that you did look out for yourself? What did you mean by that? Oh, that. Do I have to tell you? Yes, I've been wondering about it ever since. Okay then, I meant that I just look after myself by looking after others. Huh? What do you mean? You were, you were worried that I'd neglect myself by trying too hard to help out. But the thing is, I'd only be neglecting myself if I didn't help everyone. If I stopped, I'd just feel terrible, but useless. I wouldn't be happy. I know I'm a big klutz, but I take pride in working as hard as I can to serve others. But don't you find that exhausting? Very much so. But it's a meaningful kind of exhaustion. 
and that makes it all worth it. Felicia, you're a very inspiring person, you know that? Oh stop, you're making me blush! But I don't want you to push yourself too hard. Remember, you can't help others very effectively if you're exhausted all the time. I know that. I promise not to overwork myself. <laughs> Good. Now, if only you could promise to keep away from the dishes, too. Corrin! Why'd you have to go and spoil a perfectly beautiful moment like that? <laughs> Sorry, Felicia, I couldn't help myself. But I do hope you'll always be there to help us, on and off the battlefield. Of course, my lord. Felicia! Felicia! Where are you? It's okay, you can come out now. Poor girl. I hope she's not beating herself up too much. Today was way worse than usual. I bet she's off in that corner again. Aha, thought so. Hello, Lord Felicia, cheer up. Everything will be alright. Everyone makes mistakes. What kind of maid oversleeps and gets dressed with her clothes inside out and then burns everyone's breakfast and drops their sheets in the mud? I just quit being a maid and go back home. I'll admit that's pretty impressive for one morning. You know, maybe calling it quits isn't such a bad idea. Of course, don't say that. Especially not right now. <laughs> Calm down, I'm only kidding. Felicia, giving up like that, it's just not like you. Didn't you tell me that helping others is what keeps you going? Huh? Well, I made all that up. W what? Why? I mean, of course I want to do my best for others, but I'm really not that selfless. But you said you were looking out for yourself when you healed me. What did you mean by that? Really? You're gonna make me spell it out for you. Spell what out? I love you, my lord. What? Since when? A long time now, but it's okay. You don't have to say anything. I know my feelings are forbidden. A prince cannot marry a maid. Oh, marriages are too important for love. To determine. Not that you do love me. So please, just forget what I said. Oh, Felicia, I love you too. What? Why do you think I spend so much time tracking you down when you're sad? I've loved you for a long time. All the way back to our days in the Northern Fortress. Corin. So please, don't worry so much about the proper protocol for royal marriages. I will never let anything tear us apart. I'm, I'm so happy. I can hardly breathe. I'm sorry for allowing you to suffer for so long in silence. Will you make me the happiest man alive? Will you be my wife, Felicia? Yes, of course. I'm so glad I didn't mess this up. I love you.